Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. So this is our brand new series of Project Hospital and we're trying to build a hospital that has a semi-realistic layout, theme, all that kind of jazz. So from the last episode, a couple of people want to be named as doctors. So Moomin Little Socks, I hope I pronounced that correctly, he developed, or she, he or she, I don't know, developed the sexual health mod, which is this one down here. And we haven't got the sexual health department in yet. So they will become a doctor as soon as we get that department in. I promise, Mrs. Miss or Mr. Little Socks, you'll be a doctor as soon as we get in that sexual health department. And Kadsha, again, I hope I pronounced that properly. You want to be a doctor, you can be this lady here. Goodbye, Judy. Hello, Kadsha. So there we go, please let me know down below guys if you want to be a doctor in this series. So as you can see, some things have changed. Right, so basically, I had an email last night from William Farrow, and I'll show you the email in a, in a sec. And it's basically saying about how the council will give us lots of money if we start to develop our laboratories. So it's quite cool. So I've developed this little area here. I got this door because I thought we might get deliveries of lab supplies, consumables, we might get samples in for this door, like blood, tissue. Um, and I've got this little cleaning closet because we're gonna need somewhere to dispose of our lab waste. And then these tables and chairs are gonna make a bit more sense right now. So here's the email. So, hi Brad, we need our community to have the best healthcare possible. Please start thinking about including routine laboratory testing to your clinic. We heard that a local school had lab desks that they were throwing out due to upgrade. We had someone bring them over to you along with some stools, in brackets chairs. Kind regards, Professor William Farron. In brackets chairs. Well, I hope no one's bringing us stools in the sense of feces. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's get down to it. So we've got these lab desks and we've got these stools free of charge from a local school. If we get in, the Medical Laboratories Clinic will get $50,000 as a government grant additionally. So, let's get into build mode and let's start thinking about these labs. So like I said, we've got this little entrance area which will just be for staff and people bringing in samples and all that kind of jazz. And we've got this little cleaning closet here for lab waste. Because cleaning labs is very different to cleaning an office or a reception area, isn't it? So. Right, so we've got three labs. We have the hematology lab, so blood, microbiology, so bacteria, viruses, all that kind of jazz, and histology, so tissues. So we need space for three different labs. Now thinking about what happens in the UK with pathology labs, they're normally pretty restricted in terms of access. Um, so we kind of want this to, because our patients need to go to our labs because that's how the game is set up, is that the patients need to give the lab technicians their samples. So we are gonna need patients to get there. It's just we need to make it in a way that's easy for patients to get there, but it's not like a, an immediate, like a reception, which needs to be in the heart of the hospital, if that makes sense. So why don't we rather do a completely joint up lab with so what we could do is something like this um let's do something like that and then that it could just be one lab but separated into the different kind of sub functions so there isn't any physical barrier between them i think that makes more sense okay so this is 21 tiles long so what we need to do is have these labs be seven wide so there's hematology, there's microbiology, and there's histology. Let's get some doors on those. So we'll go through with a nice little glass door, I think. So we'll get a door for each lab. Right, so let's kind of share out these lab desks. So if we have those going like that, I mean, these are pretty big rooms at the moment, which is probably a good thing. Um, and then we'll get these stools again kind of evenly um, shared along these labs right so what do we need for haematology we need a biohazard bin that makes sense 
So let's get that near the door and then they'd probably also have a yellow bin over there. We're going to want some um, kind of soap dispensers but you might have to go to somewhere like a doctor's office to get those in. Disinfecting dispensers. So let's get those next to the door and we'll get a red bin near every door and then a yellow bin throughout the different labs. Okay right so we're focusing on haematology first so sample storage you want that fairly close to the door but you want it in an area where it's temperature controlled very closely because you don't want your samples going out of spec so let's put that over there in here to make it look a bit different we'll pop it there and in here we'll have it on that wall again then we're going to want the thermal cyclers so oh I don't know if every lab needs a thermal cycler so let's just do haematology so let's pop that there then we need a printer PC all of that kind of stuff so let's get out a square table and then we'll have a little workstation down here with a PC, a chair of a different colour, and we also need a printer in here actually. So let's get another one of the square tables, and on that one we'll have a nice big printer. We need the RIA, the radio immuno assay. So let's get that in there. We'll get in a sink, so the sink can be well that needs to be on a wall really, so let's get that in something like there. Then we need some space for the haematology analyzer and some glassware. So let's get another, we'll purchase our own lab desk. And on that we need the haematology analyzer, which I'm going to put next to the window. You don't want that in front of the window because the sunlight could affect the results there. Especially if it is quantitative or qualitative. Um, it might affect some of the results. And then we'll get some glassware. So let's get the burettes in. Um, okay, that's good. And then we've got a little bit of room. So we just need to kind of dish out like lab shelves, getting some equipment cabinets maybe, get that in there. I just want these rooms to look like they're, you know, used. That's the only thing I worry with these kind of rooms is sometimes you can make it look like they're just never used. Okay, let's get rid of those drawers because I don't like them. And we'll get out, oh I don't know. We need like some more table room, don't we? Maybe equipment tables. We'll get one of them with some more glassware on. It doesn't fit. Well, that's annoying. Let's get one more lab desk out. And we'll get some uh, glassware on that. Okay, so I like that one. And in terms of kind of decorative items, we'd, you'd probably just have a few posters. You wouldn't have plants or anything. And um, we probably would have a fire extinguisher. I assume. Getting some files. You wouldn't have a plant, but you would have a clock. Look at all this new stuff like wardrobe, umbrella stand. It's so cool. Okay. And um, we probably want a Wi Fi source for our instruments and that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's good. So now we've got microbiology. So you've got to get a microscope. Oh, does that table need to be turned around? Okay, why are you yellow? Microscope can be placed here but it will block access to another object. Ah, oh, that, because that desk was the wrong way around. Is that all good now? Yeah, lovely. So you also need a microbiological incubator. Okay, so let's get that over there. What else do we need? We need a computer. So let's get out of there with a nice big printer. Then we need a, a um, lab sink and a fume hood. Let's get the fume hood out over there. And then again, we'll get a lab desk in the middle here with just some bits like glassware, burettes, all of that kind of stuff. Get a lab shelf just to make it look um, nice and kind of used. Get some equipment up there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Then last but not least, we've got the histology lab. So again, let's get a microscope out. That needs to be with the stool because you want to sit down. You don't want to be standing up all day using a microscope. We'll get a printer. Let's get a laptop in here for something a bit different. Then we'll get a, a, a nice office chair. This needs the big centrifuge, spinny spinny. 
stool analyzer. You don't want to be using that, do you? You don't want to be analyzing stools. Uh, we've got a lab analyzer, don't we? Oh no, we mustn't have because it's still orange. Use your brain bradders. We'll get in the kitchen. Oh, we can't get a sink. So let's get that sink, lab sink, glassware. Then we'll get in a few. What is this? Four cube, empty unit. I don't even know what that is. You can put stuff on top of it, though. Get a small glassware there. Then we'll get an equipment cabinet. Let's get out some clocks. And we'll get another one in there. Uh, we'll get out some fire extinguishers. And then probably some posters. So what could we get? Like the info posters, maybe? It's probably the most um, appropriate. Now, do you want to change the floor in here? Probably yes. We could dictate different rooms by the floors. So we could do something like this. All of that, please. How does that look? Yeah, okay. And what about some walls down the middle with those nice large windows? How does that look? That's pretty cool. I quite like that. And then like there, you'd probably have that actually cordoned off. So let's do the same there. I'll get in some nice big windows. Like that. How's that look? Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then it's probably worth us getting in some windows. Just to let in a little bit of light. Like that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I am happy with that. And then we need a waiting room. So let's get that out. It'll probably be pretty small, more like. Um, well, it probably would be that size. No, I don't like it that size. That's just too big. So what about if we go that kind of wall, that kind of little wooden bit, and then we'll go down there, and then that can go away. And we'll redo this as the waiting room. I just don't know if that's a bit too big at the moment. I'm not sure how I feel about that. We're we'll getting a double door. Because um, staff can get through there. But I think that's a bit too big. So what do we need? We need some chairs. We'll go for the green theme. We've got the green theme. Let's get some chairs there. Um, and we get like some banks of chairs maybe in the middle. We'd probably have a vending machine, drinks, food, water. We'll get in a key machine, although I'm not sure if they actually use the key machine because they have to give their samples to the doctors. And we'll get in a few more chairs around the place. Again, some coffee tables. So these are the mods. Very, very strongly recommend you go and check out these mods because they are awesome. So let's get out some coffee tables, lamps, umbrella stand, let's get a different colour umbrella. Probably won't have a wardrobe, but we probably have a Wi-Fi signal in here. Waiting room sign. Get out some plants. All through here. Um, probably would have a fire alarm. In fact, you'd probably definitely have a fire alarm. Uh, make sure that no one dies. Magazines, you probably would have magazines, different lab tests, maybe they're on offer, all that kind of jazz. We'll get out some generic posters, um, digestion there, flour for the coffee table. We probably want a clock because you probably want to know what time it is if you've got an appointment somewhere else in the hospital. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's our lab area. Now, is it worth us getting in the stickers? Now, this really can take me a while because it takes me a while to find all the different ones. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that because I'm pretty sure you don't need the key machine. So that's microbiology. Um, that is hematology. Can I get that somewhere? Yep, there. And then that's histology. I found them pretty quick. For me, I found those pretty quick. I probably want like a lab sign can't get that okay we're probably gonna want one there just to say you're going to the lab area okay I'm pretty happy with that so now you're talking about staff so janitors so I have got this little room here is cordoned off 
because like I could you probably want that free for like urgent blood samples coming to hematology you know stuff like that so janitors let's get in you're pretty good margaret um, we know exactly what you're like and you're resistant and someone for the night I mean, we're not going to know quite a lot of the stuff here so let's let's see everything you're a chemist can clean floors much faster okay but you're depressed you're a hedonist and fast metabolism so you're gonna be eating constantly let's find some new people because i'm not sure about those let's have a look so you're pretty good let's get in thomas clark he's a very very good janitor right technicians let's have a look at you who have we got loyal resistant fresh parent and pleasant so you're pretty good jennifer let's get jennifer in there here we're gonna get let's get in joseph because again he's just good um here let's see everything please that's slow learner hmm so it's kind of out of jennifer rodriguez and jennifer barkley she's late into work but she's a bit cheaper so let's get in you jennifer barkley look at that so we've got our fifty thousand dollar grant as well that's awesome news hopefully professor william farron is very happy with what we've done here today hopefully that has sustained his wish for us to start our laboratory processes in our small clinic here so everything else is going pretty well i'd quite like to get some more radiology rooms in at some point so maybe like a ct mri something like that oh kate hernandez she's got a complicated diagnosis okay so lupus i mean you've got muscle and joint pain and fatigue let's do abdomen palpitation maybe temperature those are going to have to be some lab tests, I think. Maybe PCR, microbial sampling. Let's just get a few of those done for you there, Kate. Oh, where's Kate gone? Is that Kate? Because I would like her to be controlled by me, please. Perfect. So like I said, please let us know down below what you think of the series so far. Let me know if you've got any suggestions or if I've done anything wrong, because that is definitely a possibility. So please let me know down below if you've noticed anything that's kind of gone amiss. We might need another doctor's office at some point. Did I get another doctor in for that room? No. So let's get one more doctor in. I mean, you look pretty good, Robert. Okay, so you're going to be pretty good, but at the moment you're not great, basically. Cat, stop scratching everything. Um, you're the same, Margaret. You've got a 0% diagnosis. Okay, well, let's get in Robert and we'll try and train Robert up to be a bit of a better doctor. That should alleviate a bit of the pressure here just to get patients seen. And we might need to get more technicians in because obviously, as soon as one person goes on a break, it means that then patients are waiting. So hopefully, that goes well. I quite like that layout though. I quite like that. I think that's going to be good. Um, oh, what's going on with Kate Hernandez? You're waiting on your tests. Okay, well, hopefully we can get Kate and Anders processed fairly quickly. That'd be good if we can anyway, because obviously she's waiting on a pretty important diagnosis there. So one of our next objectives is to open a clinic at a specialised department. And obviously our function here in this community is to provide better healthcare for our citizens who live here, right? So I think the best way that we're going to kind of reach our objectives is to really try and open as many clinics as possible to try and get that initial diagnosis so what i'd quite like to do is next episode start thinking about sexual health so for that we're going to need a waiting room sexual health office sexual health lab and probably cleaning closet restroom that kind of stuff so what we probably want to do is get a sexual health lab like over here and then start thinking about getting in our doctor's office for sexual health it's probably going to be worth getting a, a restroom over here as well 
So let's go with. And we're going blue for our general theme, aren't we? So this here needs to be the blue wall, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in a little restroom just here, like that. This wall here needs to be that one. Then we're going to want a door. Um, in here we're going to have those tiles. Then we're going to need some WCs. So let's get those in. This is quite large actually, but it'll probably be just fine. Uh, doors in for our WCs. Then we're going to need this to be. We'll do this for labs, I think makes sense for the moment anyway but it might become a sexual health toilet hopefully no one catches anything whilst in these toilets that would be a bit awkward wouldn't it hair dryers get in some sinks with some mirrors we'll get a plastic hamper get some trash bins in um i don't know what you'd use a plastic hamper for really but let's again uh oh, do we would you have a fire extinguisher in a toilet Hmm, I don't really know. Magazines, you might have a magazine rack. Something to read when you're on the loo, maybe. And again, we'll just get out some general posters about heart conditions and all that kind of stuff. Clocks, probably worth getting a clock in here somewhere. And flooring wise, um, oh, I'm not actually sure, because we've gone with blue walls. I don't know if I like those blue walls. Let's go with that, like a green. Because that makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? Then floor. We could go tiles. Or maybe Lionel. A bit Lionel Richie. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So let's get some signs on the outside here. Signs, signs, wonderful signs. For restroom. We'll get that in blue. Just like so, so people know exactly where the restrooms are. Perfect. Okay, lovely jubbly. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'm going to end it here today. Please let me know what you think down below in the comment section, and I'll respond to every comment. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you very shortly in our next episode. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already and please feel free to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram have a great day see you later